Hello and welcome, Alana Webster here with Mashie Real Estate and today you're coming with me on a tour of beautiful Manhattan condominiums located off of South Las Vegas Boulevard. It's 7 a.m., pretty bright and early. I have a lot of appointments today, so I'm going to show you them before I start my day. This project was planned by Gemstone Development and they poured $250 million into this. The first one of these buildings were finished back in 06 and there's honestly very little information on Gemstone Development and their projects. Their website links no longer work, which leads me to believe they have gone underwater badly in 08. Their next project was supposed to be a $350 million deal called Manhattan West, but it was never executed because the crash happened. With this project, however, they barely, barely managed to jump into the last wagon, finish construction, and sell out all the units. The reason why these sold out so quickly is because at the time, if you think about it, Condos on the strip in the high rises were selling $500 to $1,000 per square foot, compared to here it was only $300. It was a no-brainer, so many people bought multiple of them. Ah, uh, what a time it was to do real estate in Vegas. I wish I was there for that, but I was literally an 11-year-old in 6th grade. In order to get into the buildings here, you need a fob. All buildings inside and on each floor look identical, and to prove that, I have recorded these hallway walks in three different buildings and on different floors. Can you imagine someone coming back home drunk? Yeah, good luck finding your unit. But honestly, all jokes aside, I wish they at least put some little art pieces on the walls to help identify and diversify the floors a little bit. We'll now go check out the unit we have for sale, an exclusive Mashed real estate listing. It is a two bedroom, two full bathrooms, 1,152 square feet, third floor unit, listed at exactly 300,000. This condo has pretty basic original, I would say, finishes, but for 300,000, you don't get all that much in Vegas. In fact, if I was a buyer for a single family house in this price range, there is no way I'm getting anything for 300K unless I bid above asking by 20 to 30,000 waive the appraisal contingency and possibly the inspection. This is the most competitive price range as of now. But people who are so burned by the bidding wars and the emotional roller coaster might consider resorting to a condo like this. You have no maintenance, your monthly HOA is $268, and it includes a guard-gated entry, security, ground maintenance, which by the way, every time you come here, they always seem to be trimming the bushes. You have the pool, the gym, walking grounds, covered parking garages, barbecue and hangout areas, really all you need while only being 10 to 15 minutes south of the Strip. For perspective, there's currently a two-bedroom house a few blocks away from here listed for $385,000, same exact size, but you'll have to offer close to probably four hundred k to even stand a chance in the bidding war. There's a lot less competition here, but it also makes a great starter home to lock that low interest rate. A unit like this rents for about $1,500 a month. You have your laundry room inside the unit, decent amount of light, not so much privacy however, but like I mentioned before, we give up privacy when moving to Vegas. Houses here are built way too close to each other and people seem to be completely fine with looking into the neighbor's bedroom. I think that due to the high ceilings, it makes this 1,152 square feet of condo feel open and bright and big, and it can be nicely upgraded too, because the space is enough even for dining and living room, a little bit of an entertainment area. Also notice how both of the bedrooms are spread apart, so for people staying over, it's nice to have some area separation. This is your primary bedroom. It's a little bit bigger and has a full walk-in closet. You know, I always joke about these closets that you can put a bed in there and rent them out because, you know, our Vegas rental situation is so sad at the moment. We'll go out to the balcony right now. It's a pretty good size one overlooking the other condominiums. But what can you do? We are facing east, hence the sunrise. And that's it for our condo tour and I also wanted to show you a few other areas. The elevators and the trash chute are conveniently located next to each other so when you're leaving your place you can just drop your trash. You get your mail right at the entrance. I love that it includes the ramp as well. 
This is what the guards booth looks like. I'll now take you to the underground parking for a few moments. You may be lucky to get one or two assigned parking spots. There's also a lot of unassigned parking up above and I've never really had any issues finding a parking spot. It's about 8 a.m. at the time of this recording, but do you see any people outside? Do people not have anywhere to be? Do people have jobs anymore? I mean, it's a weekday and it's as peaceful and quiet as it would be on a Sunday morning. Notice how well taken care of the grounds are, props to the landscapers. The pool needs a key entrance and I rarely see people using the amenities. You know, I think the pandemic really messed us up. People are less likely to go and use the amenities that could be crowded, which they're not crowded anymore, but there's still that stigma of not going to places like that. This is the west side gate. It's not so easy to hop this fence and I also wanted to get a shot from across the street. I love these sick palm trees, they're so cool. Next time you're driving down on Las Vegas Boulevard towards California, you'll know what this building is. Where I park is at Antique Mall of America, an interesting place as well. Thanks so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next week!